know what? In second grade this year, one of the goals that you have, you have to be able to solve story problems using addition and subtraction. And in the process, you have to be able to prove your work and show how you solve the problem, check your work, and also write an equation to go with it or a number sentence. Today, I'm going to teach you a really cool way that will really help us when we're solving story problems. And this is what we're going to be doing this year to show our work and also do everything we need to do to meet the goals of showing that we know how to solve story problems. This strategy is called cubes. Let me hear you say that. Cubes. Cubes. This is what it means. It's our math strategy, cubes. The C in cubes means circle the key numbers. In every number problem or story problem, there are key numbers that you're looking for. And after you read your story problem, you're going to circle the key numbers. If the numbers are written in word form, you're going to write them in standard form. Word form just means it's written out as a word. Standard form, you're going to write it again in numbers. You're going to write it above the words after you've circled it. All right, let's figure out what you means. You means to underline the question. In every story problem, it's normally going to end with a question. After you have circled the key numbers, you're going to underline the question. From there, we move to B. B means to box any math action words. A math action words are words that give you clues on what kind of math you're doing. Am I going to be adding or subtracting? you got to check those action words to help you out. All right, so after you box any math action words, we're going to move to E. Evaluate. Hmm. I've circled my key numbers. I've underlined the question that lets me know what are, what are they asking me to do. I've boxed any math action words, and these keywords will tell you what to do to solve the problem. Now, I need to evaluate what steps I should take to solve it. What should I do to solve this problem? This way, I can eliminate any information I do not need. To evaluate and decide how we need to solve it, we're going to use our part, part, whole math. Using the key numbers that we've circled, we'll decide do we have the parts to add together or do we have the whole number and one part that we need to take away. We'll talk about that. The last step in cubes is S. Time to solve and check. Does my answer make sense? How can I double check my work to make sure I'm right? We're going to show an illustration to prove our work to solve it. We're going to show an equation or a number sentence to go with the problem. And then we're going to just check ourselves using a number line to make sure we haven't made any mistakes. So really quickly, let's say this together. Math strategies, cubes. C means circle the key numbers. Circle the key numbers. U, underline the question. Underline the question. B, box any math action words. Box any math action words. E. Evaluate what steps you should take. Evaluate what steps you should take. Just think about it. S. Solve and check. Solve and check. Alright, let's quickly go over some math action words for addition. Because the first thing we're going to start working on are our addition story problems. Right here are our math action words for addition. You're going to look for these words when it's time to box the math action words. Sometimes they'll have them in there and sometimes they don't. But it's helpful for you to look for them because it gives you clues on what you need to do to solve the problem. So some addition math action words would be increase, increase, both, total, all together, join, combine, plus, together, some, add, in all, or how many in all. So really quickly, increase just means how many did we go up? You're going to have to put it together to see how much more you have. Both. You're taking two numbers to figure out what the answer is for both of them together. Total. Finding the total, putting them together. All together. Once again, you're adding. Join. Join means to put together, so you're adding. Combine means join, put together, or adding. Plus, together. All the same thing. All of these are key action words for addition. Sum is a very key word because the word sum right here is not, can I have some more? This sum is the answer to an addition problem. So if you see the word sum, S-U-M, you know you have 
to add or use addition. In all and how many in all. All right, really quickly, we're going to practice using our cube strategy to solve a math story problem. All right, let's look at it together, and we're going to read over the problem together. The teacher sent some of her students to the bathroom. She sent eight boys and six girls. How many students did she send in all? All right, let's use our cube strategies to see what I have to do to help me with this story problem. Pay attention because you're going to have to do this on your own later. All right. C, once again, means to what? Circle the key numbers. Let's find the key numbers. The teacher sent some of her students to the bathroom. She sent how many boys? Eight boys. What do we do when it's writ written in word form? We have to write it in standard form. just means using the numbers above it. So she sent eight boys. Up top, I'm going to put the number eight. She sent eight boys and how many girls? That's a key number. Six girls. Since it's already written in standard form, all I have to do is circle it. So we, oh, and six girls. How many students did she send in all? So, so far we have circled two key numbers. Now it's time to underline the question. Where do you find the question? At the end. Outstanding. Let's underline it and say it together. How many students did she send in all? So for our cubes, we have circled the key numbers, 8 and 6. We've underlined the question, how many students did she send in all? That's what we have to figure out. Now it's time to box any action words. All right, let's think about our math action words that we just went over. Did we see any of those in here? Did you see it? I see it too. What was it? In all. Very good. We're going to put a box around those because that gives us a clue to let us know what kind of math we're doing. We're going to be adding. All right, we have circled the key numbers, 8 and 6. We've underlined the question, how many students did she send in all? We've boxed the math action words, in all. Now it's time to evaluate. What steps should we take? All right, remember I told you when it's time to evaluate, we're going to think about the steps we need to take by using our part, part, whole math. That's the first thing you're going to show me on your paper to show that you're evaluating your thinking. So go ahead and draw your part, part, whole map. This is for the whole number. These are for your parts. So in this story problem, we know that she said eight boys, that's a part, and six girls, that's a part. So we have two parts and no whole number. When you have two parts and no whole number, what kind of math are you going to do? We're going to put those numbers together so we can find the whole number. So we are going to add. All right, now from there, we've thought about what we need to do. Let's show our work and solve the problem. The best way to solve math story problems first is to do an illustration to show your work. You can actually draw the children, but just for now and time's sake, we're going to use shapes. So the teacher sent eight boys. I'm going to use circles to represent the boys. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, those are the boys. Now let's see how many girls the teacher sent. The teacher sent six girls, eight boys. Six girls. I'm going to use triangles to represent the girls. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's check ourselves really quickly by counting what we think the whole number is. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. I think the sum of this addition story problem is 14. So I'm going to write the number sentence to go with it. We take our two parts and add them together. Our first part, the boys. Eight boys plus six girls equals 14 students.
All right, I've evaluated with my part, part, whole. I solve using an illustration, and I show my number sitting. Now, really quickly, the last thing I need to do is check myself. I'm just going to check myself using a number line just to make sure I've counted correctly. All right, I'm going to start at the number eight and count up six more. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six more spaces. Let's see what number I land on when I count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. When I check myself using my number line, I got the same sum that I got when I did my equation and I counted and I put my number sentence or my equation with 14 students. Really quickly, how did I do using my cubes? I went back and I circled the key numbers. One of them was written in word form, so I wrote the number above it. I underlined the question, how many students did she send in all? From there, I boxed the math action word, in all, Help me know that I was using addition to find the answer to this problem. Next, I evaluate what steps I should take by using my part, part, whole math. Using that, I see I have the two parts and I'm missing the whole. In order to get the whole, I have to add the parts to find the sum, which would be the whole. From there, I took the parts, or my key numbers, and I counted them out using an illustration. I showed my eight boys plus my six girls and I counted them together to get the number or the sum 14. I wrote the equation 8 plus 6 equals 14 students. Finally, I checked myself using a number line. I started at the number 8. I counted up 6 spaces to represent the 6 girls that we put with it. I counted from there 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Landed on the same number that I wrote for the sum of my equation and the answer after counting eight boys plus six girls. Now I know how to use cubes to solve addition problems. We're going to try one together now. 